right, in my last video, we played around with the tool ChatGPT and uh, tried to see if it could create a new cocktail. I think most of the comments were um, surprised that I gave it such a challenging set of ingredients, uh, sesame oil and I think rice vinegar, but I wanted to see if it could create something beyond just sort of a basic sour. And it did okay. If you go back and see that video, you see I had to train it a little bit and give it a little more guidance. But y'all left some good comments on how I can potentially better use the prompts within ChatGPT to maybe give it better directions. So maybe we create a little mini series out of this idea where I will ask ChatGPT to create a cocktail based off one specialty ingredient, um, being able to use all other common ingredients or liqueurs or liquors in my cabinet. And then I will take a look at it and see if I can maybe make some improvements to it um, based on the recipe it spits out. And then we'll do a taste test comparison to see uh, did the machines create something better than the humans. So if we like this idea for a little mini series, um, go ahead and leave a comment on an ingredient you'd like me to try. Uh, but first up, I've gone through my fridge and I think I'm gonna use grapes as the first ingredient. Okay, here we are in the chat GPT console. And this is the prompt I'm giving it. Invent me a unique cocktail using grapes. The cocktail can use other common ingredients and any spirits or liqueurs. Uh, it should taste good and be balanced. Now I would hope I wouldn't have to specify that, but the video we made last time uh, was not a very balanced cocktail from ChatGPT, so let's see if this helps. All right, what do you got for me? Here's a recipe for a unique cocktail using grapes, the Grape Smash Cocktail. Vodka, blue curacao, lemon juice, simple red grapes, and a sprig of mint. Muddle mint and grapes together, Add everything else, shake with ice, and strain into a chilled glass, garnish with some grapes and a sprig of mint. Oh hey, they describe it here. So, this cocktail has a refreshing grape flavor with a hint of mint and a nice balance of sweet and tart. The blue curacao adds a pop of color and a slightly sweet orange flavor. Lemon juice adds some tartness, okay, yada yada yada, balance, balance. Uh, the simple syrup helps to smooth out the flavors and add a touch of sweetness. All right, obvious. Uh, so they kind of repeat some things, but they're clearly trying to convince me that this is a balanced cocktail, which I guess I appreciate. All right, let's break this spec down in a little more detail. So first glance, um, vodka, not as interesting, but it gets the job done. Um, mixing that with blue curacao, a half ounce of blue curacao and one and a half ounce of vodka. It's not really a full two ounces of 40 proof uh, ethanol that you would normally expect from a cocktail, um, unless this is overproofed vodka. So the blue curacao is going to be probably 25%, so it doesn't quite even out. So I might amp this up a little bit or maybe use a different orange liqueur. Um, I don't think it's going to be super balanced because the grapes are going to add a little sweetness, plus you're getting the simple plus the blue curacao. Probably going to be a little on the sweet side, I would guess. But everything else looks pretty interesting. I mean, I like the idea of muddling the grapes to get the grape flavor and a uh, sprig of mint, it's great. It understands what a smash is. And so I'm gonna play around with the spec a little bit, but try to keep the uh, spirit of the cocktail the same, pardon the pun, and uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So first let's make the grape smash cocktail from ChatGPT. All right, for recreating ChatGPT's cocktail, I'm gonna start with the simple syrup and probably muddle the grapes into this. Um, so it's one fourth ounce of simple, just a little bit. And I got these red grapes here, as it called for. It said three to four grapes, but these are actually quite small. So I think for both my cocktail and chat GPTs, I'll up it to six. Uh, we'll go with six, six a pop. And grab your muddler. We're just gonna get all the juices out of there. All right, let's add the blue. Curacao. Um, I like this one from Gifford. It's pretty nice and nice fun blue. We're gonna do half an ounce. It's gonna give us a little bit of ethanol, about 25% ABV and a nice blue color. Half ounce of fresh lemon juice. And I just realized I forgot a really important part of the smash and that is the mint. So we forgot to muddle that with the grapes. Let's go ahead and just do that now, not a problem. Uh, for consistency, I'm gonna use about 10 mint leaves for each my cocktail and the AI generated cocktail. Okay, so let's just do a quick little muddle. 
Some flavors will also get extracted when I shake this with ice. You don't really want to pulverize mint as we've talked about before, but do a nice gentle muddle there. And we're gonna finish with our spirit, some vodka. This is basic 40% ABV vodka. And that is our cocktail. Let's shake it up. Pretty low wash line, meaning not as much liquid as you might expect for a shaking cocktail, but it is quite pretty. Go ahead and garnish as recommended with a few whole grapes and a mint sprig. Clappity clap. All right, this is our AI generated grape smash cocktail. The chat GPT came up with. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create my version, which will have slightly adjusted uh, ratios and uh, we'll do a taste test comparison and see whose is more balanced and tastier. All right, just like last time, we're gonna do uh, 10 sprigs of mint and six whole red grapes. We'll throw that in there and we'll muddle that with about, we'll muddle that with our simple syrup. So I'm actually gonna amp this up to a half ounce of simple syrup from the quarter ounce before. We're trying to get a little more volume in this cocktail while keeping it balanced. Okay, so a half ounce of simple, six grapes, and uh, 10 sprigs of mint. Let's get that all mashed up together. Next up, instead of blue curacao, I'm gonna use Cointreau. Both of these are orange liqueurs. Um, so mine's gonna be maybe a little less fun, um, but probably a bit more booze, um, which actually maybe is more fun. So three fourths of an ounce of Cointreau. And this is 40% ABV. So when we pair that with an ounce and a half of our other spirit, it's going to round out to um, a normal two ounce pour of spirit. In general, we're targeting somewhere between 15 and 20% ABV for the final cocktail after dilution. Um, so I'm gonna mix that with about an ounce and a half of gin instead of vodka. This gin is about 45%, 49% actually, ABV. So this will be right in line with where we're trying to get to. Now we need to balance that out with our lemon juice. So we did half an ounce of simple, three fourths of an ounce of Cointreau. Um, I'm gonna guess we need to get somewhere in the range of about an ounce of lemon juice, assuming we'll get a little sweetness from those grapes. So this is an ounce of lemon, shake with ice. Okay, right away, much better wash line. That's about where you wanna be. All right, now for our garnish. I mean, all my mint is pretty sad here. It's actually kind of tough to garnish a coupe glass with mint. Because you usually want like a bouquet of mint stuffed in something you can then sniff and it kind of always flops around on a coupe glass. Maybe let it chill out right there. Grape right here, we'll just sort of garnish. Garnish like that. All right, that's my version, the human generated version. Let's do a taste test comparison. Okay, we've got the AI generated cocktail versus the human generated cocktail. Let's see which is better. All right, first up, the AI generated cocktail with blue curacao, vodka. Let's see how it is. Okay. I mean, compared to the last video, this is miles ahead. I mean, it's decently balanced. It is a bit on the sweet side, I'd say objectively. So if you like your cocktail sweet, you might prefer this. But a purely balanced cocktail, you're sort of targeting in equal parts citrus, like lime or lemon juice, and uh, simple syrup, one-to-one -one simple syrup. And this is skewing a little bit more on the sweet side. It didn't really account, I think, for some of the sweetness in the grapes. I think even without the grape adjustment, it would still be slightly on the sweet side. But, um, I mean, this is a perfectly passable cocktail. So pretty impressive. Well, compared to the Nick-generated cocktail, um, I don't have a clever name for this one, uh, but it is not as fun looking. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh. I mean, this is a classic daisy template like the margarita. 
for the Cointreau, except gin instead of tequila. Um, slightly adjusted a bit for the, for the grapes. It's lovely. The gin is just so much more interesting. I might have gone back and used a little grape juice to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, you don't get a ton of grape. I would say amp up the grape in some way, but uh, it is a lovely cocktail.